Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell joining you today live from the floor of PTC 2023, um, where we're, uh, you know, at, at PTC 23, it's a fantastic conference already. Uh, joining me is Mark England, founder and CEO of FiberSense. Mark, thanks for joining us. How are you finding the conference? Oh, well, first thing, morning, Bob. It's been four months since we spoke last. Uh, yeah. So far, so good. It's been four months, a fantastic it has been, yeah. So far. Yeah. Different than this time last year. Yeah. A in a lot more, of ways, right? I think so. A lot, yeah. lot more attendees this year than last yeah. year. Yeah. So really happy about that. Has it been busy for you? Or are you? Uh, very much so. We're, we're continuing conversations from our launch last year, which I'll talk about a bit later in our chat. Okay, yeah. I, I want to, first of all, congratulate you. I understand you... Uh, recently were awarded with Entrepreneur of the Year. I just want to check Australia's Piercy Foundation, yes. right? Thank you very That's much. pretty good for yeah, founding FiberSense. Yeah, that was uh, a, great, a great encouragement for uh, a lot of years of um, moving through the startup process. So yeah, very, very yeah. pleased for that encouragement. There's a lot of um, innovation drive in Australia and the US at the moment. And these sort of organizations really get behind guys and girls that want to go and start businesses, which I highly yeah. encourage. Yes. Uh, for those out there that are interested in it, it's, it's definitely worth it. What an amazing uh, accomplishment and a, a, just a testament to the work that you're doing. Um, I, I'm so curious about this. Speaking of the work you're doing and yes. the impact you're making, I understand that FiberSense recorded live uh, an earthquake in Australia. Is that right? Yes, yes, actually in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. in New Zealand, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, there was a couple of, that went through, but uh, yeah, we, we have a platform technology. Uh, that converts optical fiber cables in cities and yep. subsea, we talked about last year, yep. into continuous sensors. And in the case of earthquakes, uh, that's a big revelation that we're able to take very sparse networks today in seismometers and turn them um, across into a very, very dense network. So in Wellington, we were fortunate enough to catch a, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake oh, wow. live. And that was a very important precedent for us because it was alongside calibrated existing seismometers. And we were able to validate uh, for the first time cleanly that fiber cables can act as calibrated seismometers with much, much higher density. So we can see things like earthquakes on a per building basis for the first time, uh, by address for the first time. And that's got big implications for responding to earthquakes. Yeah, and I, I can tell you as someone who lives on the west coast of North America, yeah. they I'm thinking about these things <laughs> often, so uh, that's so interesting. Um, so uh, next, I wouldn't mind hearing a little bit about your relationship with Australia's National Broad Broadband Network. Yes, uh, the National Broadband Network uh, we announced um, just recently, late last year, and that, that's a, a big precedent for us in Australia that we're moving out with fibre partners to protect their critical infrastructure. So in the case of MBN, their core network, uh, and that trial's underway at this point, and uh, we're very confident that that's going to go through successfully. Our, our whole um, approach to this is that we deliver products into the marketplace and in the cities that works. So um, we go through a test process with MBN. Uh, we're getting checked off on the performance, and we expect that to go through. So it, that will be a big deal for carriers in, in Australia. Yeah. So. What so I'm, I'm curious, there's so much that you've already said about you know the ways that you can help, you know, whether it be something massive like detecting an earthquake or you know helping in, in local local enterprise and, and communities. But where what would you say is your the area that you're most impactful? Focus on, yeah, right? Yeah, this has been the problem from the very beginning. Of okay, the business. yeah when you can convert a fiber cable into something that's capable of digitizing all objects and events there's an un, almost like an unlimited set of applications yeah. that you can dream up uh, but for companies like us it's so important that we focus and right. we've been focusing on critical infrastructure from the very beginning and uh, we started in subsea that we announced last year protecting submarine cables and it was an innovation there that we were able to insert ourselves into live traffic but in the terrestrial sense, we're very much focused on protecting critical linear infrastructure. That's things like telecom cables, uh, water pipes, power, power cables, that sort of thing from things like excavators and network technicians doing stuff that they're supposed to be doing, that, right, yeah. that type of thing. So we're really focused on that. Uh, we have a smart city frame we talked about last year as well. That's accelerated dramatically. Uh, so we have uh, first vehicle tracking live on a per vehicle basis through fiber cables, which is a, which is a very different way of tracking objects and events in cities. 
Uh, we also have a, a water leak detection capability and a seismic capability, but they come after we have critical infrastructure focus that the business is leading with. So uh, they're pilots in a sense, but the main business is infrastructure protection. They're, they're qualified products that are going out at scale. So you talked about focus. Uh, so when you, and I, you know, I was, I've been saying, you know, today it's always interesting I find being at PTC because it's January, it's time for sort of like reset and re recalibrate and sort of think of the year ahead. Uh, what do you what are you most focused on when you think of it from that perspective? Because it's a lot. What you're talking about is a lot. What what do you think you can focus on for the next six months, say, or twelve? So 2022 was a big year of expansion for us. Yeah. Uh, we're now in 15 cities, eight countries. Uh, very very big footprint in our fleet. Uh, we also added two new high-caliber uh, non-executive directors to the board. So we have yep. um, Chris Sharp from uh, Digital Realty joined yep. us last year. And we also have uh, Mark Sokol, uh, an ex-Google executive in the infrastructure side, both of the icons of the industry. Mark's now with Atlas Edge as their CTO, but both of them render on our board new dimensions of, let's say, advisory board capability or depth, depth in our board. So that's yep. been a, a big add as we manage scale out now. So as we focused on asset protection, our 23 is really about uh, significantly increasing our footprint, um, 5x of what it is today. And uh, that, that requires uh, a discipline Significant. and a focus, <laughs> yeah. a focus on uh, what it takes to scale and grow. It, so. Right. Well, you have your work cut out for you, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's always great to to catch up with you. Is there anything else that you want to make sure our, our viewers sort of know that you're you're really thinking about? No, I think I think that's it. We're, we're always looking for fiber partners. We've got a lot of uh, great fiber partners today. Yeah. Uh, MBN is a candidate for that, as, as we saw that. Uh, in, in the US and Europe, uh, what we render to these public partners is the ability to generate a new unregulated revenue source from those applications we just discussed. So we're always looking for that. So if there's any interest in, in carriers out there for looking at a new model within their business, that's us. Right. Okay. Well, good. So for those people, I, I keep saying not everyone's as lucky as we are to be well, have to have made the long, long journey <laughs> to to Waikiki. Uh, for those that aren't here, that you aren't able to meet with on site, how can they connect with you? Uh, our website, it's fibersense.com. Okay. Uh, it's all there. Uh, our, our business development sales team are always uh, eager to, to chat. With them. Yeah, I bet. So fibersense.com. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure to catch up. Hopefully, it's we don't have to wait a whole another year. Yeah. Thank uh, thanks so much, Bob. To chat again. Yeah, Really Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank you. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Mahalo.